Hello and welcome to Trader Talk. I'm your host, Dan Worth, and again, I'm joined with Will Gunn from the Sporting Index Cricket Desk. How are you doing today, Will? Yeah, really good. Thanks, Dan. Yourself? Yeah, all good. Thank you. Um, and you obviously join us on the cusp of uh, the first test match between uh, England and South Africa, um, which is looking like it's going to be a great series. Obviously, England have been in pretty fine force at form so far this summer. Um, what does Sporting Index and, and, of course, yourself think of their chances in this series? Yeah, I'm really, really positive about our chances for this series. I think the England price to win the series is about four to seven-ish, which I think seems a pretty fair price to me. Um, hopefully, didn't lose any momentum because it's been a while since we played the last Test match. Um, but I think the, the first Test will be crucial, as it always is. If we put a bit of a marker down in that, then I think we should be fine for the rest of the series. Yeah, I think so too. Um, you know, coming off the back of the India win as well, I mean, surely they're, they're going to be buzzing and yeah, I, I can't really see any other result than, than an England win, but, but we'll have Hopefully. to see. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, going back to the uh, the India test, obviously Bairstow was in, well, ridiculous form, really, kind of uh, hitting it all over the shop. Um, where would I look with Sporting Index if I kind of was anticipating Bairstow to continue that form uh, against South Africa? Yeah, so one, one thing you might want to have a look at there is have a look at his ton-ups, um, which I believe is 9-12. Um, for the first match. So that that market is just however many runs he scores, more than 100, um, you get a point for every run over that. So if he gets 150, um, you've got made 50 points on, on that. Um, or you could just go traditional method and go and back him to be top first innings batsman at three to one. Both of, the, both of them look pretty good bets to me. So Cool. Yeah, thanks very much for that. So yeah, you, you've made it quite clear that there's at least a couple of options there. So... Um, I'll definitely be checking those out. Um, another player that's been really impressive, I mean, for his whole career, but especially lately, is Joe Root. Um, he won player of the series uh, against the Indians. Um, do you guys offer any series markets or, or are there any to keep in mind sort of specifically? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah so we do offer some series markets. Um, if you wanted to get with Joe Root, his series runs price, that's so the total aggregate amount of runs he scored, um, is 280, 295. So if you if you were lucky, if you thought he was going to have a really good series, then you'd want to be buying at 295 and cheering him on every time he hits a four or reverse scoops a six like he did in the uh, in the previous matches. Yeah, it sounds like it's got the potential to be a really exciting bet that. And, and as you say, if he's lasting the whole series, it's kind of in for the long haul. And, you know, even if he does get out early in one innings, you've still got quite a few other to quite a few others to catch up. Exactly. Uh, cool. Well, obviously, we've just received the team news and, and I, I don't know if you agree or not, but there wasn't really any surprises for me. Um, but one name that stands out is, is Jimmy Anderson, uh, as always. Um, and it's going to be his first test as a 40-year-old. Uh, how do you think he's going to get on with that? And, and do you think it's going to make much difference to his game? I don't think it'll make any difference at all, to be honest with you. He's, he's evergreen, isn't he? I, I don't know how many more years he's got left in him, but hopefully it's at least another three or four if he can manage his workload properly and stay fit and he, he just knows such a competitor that he always wants to be at the top of his game all the time um, but yeah hopefully it'll be another good series for him yeah I hope so too and uh, yeah are there any markets that we could be looking at specifically around Jimmy you know if we're expecting him to to hit the ground running again yeah so again similar to the best though one you could go quite traditional and back him to take the most wickets in the first innings at five to two but if you wanted to have something which was a little bit different, one of the spread markets we offer is a, a bowling index where he gets 10 points per wicket and then a bonus if he takes a five-wicket haul. So if you think there's a good chance that he might take a fiver, then that, that could be a good, good way to exploit that. Excellent. Well, thanks for explaining that. Again, there are lots of options. Uh, we're very blessed there. Um, OK, well, yeah, that's pretty much everything I've got to ask you for, for the first test. I'm sure we'll check back in as, as they go on. Um, but thank you very much for joining me and, and enjoy the test. Um, and for everyone at home, please do uh, also enjoy the test, but also gamble responsibly. Um, and yeah, thanks again, Will. And, and that's it for now. Thanks, Dan. Cheers. Cheers.